Okay, hey guys, today I want to show you a very uh, straightforward cookie cutter build that you can use to crush your friends and family with. Um, and your mom, if she plays Planetary Annihilation, she'll be like, Oh son, you're so good at this game! Anyway, we want to be the initial aggressors so that they are always reacting to us. And if they are reacting to us, they become quite predictable so that you know, we can kind of follow up on this transition to transition quite safely. Uh, first thing we're going to do, look for their spawns so we know where to send their docks. Could be there. Could be, I think, North Pole there. Basically looking for about clusters of five metal. Or could be that one. Uh, so I think our safest is going to be one. And then we'll send docks to our right and to the bottom. <coughs> okay. So we're going to start with one metal, one metal, one energy, and then one metal uh, into our bot factory. And this bot factory is going to be producing... Gluck, gluck, gluck. Uh, this bot factory is going to be producing uh, Docs and Stinger the entire game. Because we want to set the pace, right? If he plays greedy, we can punish him. And if he doesn't play greedy, if he does the same build that we're doing, then they kind of cancel out and there's no big loss. Uh... If we played Greedy and he did this build, we would be in a lot of trouble. So that's why we are doing this, um, kind of for the flexibility. So we're going to do Continuous Mode, and then our rotation, one Faber, one Stinger, three Docks. And then queue up our Vehicle Factory. So I'm going to be, uh, if I can get this, yep. one Energy, one Energy and then vehicle factory now we're only going to build one bot faba uh, so he's going to be our VIP transition into our T2 bot uh, we don't want to lose him because if we need to rebuild him that's you know time take away from building doxes and we don't want to do that and take him off the queue and queue that up now we're getting the T2 bot up very early for sniper bots because they counter what counters the docks, if you know what I mean. The counter to docks being laser turrets, or you know, if he brings out his commander. Um, that's why we want to have a very, very quick follow-up with uh, snipers to prevent that and to break turrets. So we're going to scout a bit. <sighs> Looks like our commander has bugged out. That's great. And from there we are going to do straight energy with our commander just for the rest of the game really, we don't really need him to do anything else and our vehicle factory, continuous mode vehicle fabbers actually we might do 4 metal yeah we'll do 4 metal and then into our bot factory um, that stinger, now if the comm hadn't bugged out that stinger should have um, built the same time as that vehicle fabber so that would have been timed but it didn't unfortunately. That's alright, our first vehicle Faber is going to go straight on energy for the rest of the game as well. And then our second vehicle Faber is going to go onto metal. Now we're just going to scout a bit. And just kind of hope that we uh, run into one of his Fabers so we get an early morale kill. Mm. So we'll see how greedy he's playing if we can find him. And also, we want to kind of split all of our units around um, so that uh, we, we don't get, we have as much vision as possible so we, won't, we don't get turret rushed or bomber rushed or that kind of thing. So just keep your units busy and get some metal up. Uh, our fourth Faber is going to go get metal this side. Um, and then we're going to queue the rest up on the T2 sniper bot factory and then we can pull fabbers off there as we need to. So now there's really not a lot of micromanagement we need to do back at base so we can just kind of zoom out and uh, focus on the harass if we can find where he is. Sometimes you get unlucky like this game and sometimes you find him straight away and get a free fabber kill but I guess not this time. But it's still alright because once we find him, we'll have a lot of 
uh, docks all over the map, and then it's easier that way to get a surround on him. So, we're going to get more metal. Now you're wondering why I'm not just full out getting metal, that's because there's no point getting more metal than you need. Um, because that, that means that's build power that could have gone into the T2 sniper bot factory, if you know what I mean. We want to keep our metal as low as possible, but still green. As close to zero as possible, really. It doesn't really matter how much energy we are in deficit. Um, because as, as long as we are using all of our metal, the energy is not too big of a concern unless uh, you really need to expand that metal. Like say our opponent has 200 metal income and we have 200 metal income. If we are running a 0% metal efficiency and they are running 100% metal efficiency because they're not using it all, then we are doing better. Where is he? <sighs> oh, there he is. Okay, great. So we've got a Faber kill. I think he might be there. Oh. 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 It's free mix. Hmm. Uh, kind of worried because I haven't seen any of his real units yet. So either he's... Um, I don't know. I'm using air fabbers, but he hasn't tried to bomb me or anything. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so we're just gonna use our docks, take down his mechs, and avoid those obvious laser turrets that are like there and there. Oh, it's building. Can I take that? Yes, got him. Um, so I'm gonna take those mechs up there and uh, get those factories up for our docks production and stinger production because I mean we don't want to go in naked with just gillies that's really dumb um, still a bit more scanning I still don't know where he is, I haven't seen his base I mean I've seen his expansion but he could be there uh, okay we need to hurry so we're going to do our T2 proxy vehicle factory now uh, we're doing this now because the reaction to sniper bots is uh, um, walls and sniper bots really suck against walls so you need... why is he bugged out? oh my god so that's why I was running an energy deficit anyway so we need the tier 2 vehicle factory for shellers and vanguards to break through walls and also to kill his uh, T2 vehicles or to make it a bit easy to kill his T2 vehicles if he went that, although I think you might have just gone for T2 air, but I haven't seen anything. He's got no metal, so he can't have a fast timing up, right? Anyway, uh, I have a lot of map vision, so it should be okay. Cue those up and just bring everything forward. So we're going to try and pressure him so that we can get that T2 vehicle factory proxy up. There he is. Whoa, is that Infernos and T1 tanks? So I'm confused. Is he going for a Vanguard drop? Like, what is he doing? Is he going for a Vanguard drop? Hmm. So we're going to waypoint there, I guess, and then do Vanguard shellers. And then assist that with our vehicle fabs, or our bot fabs go there. Uh, I mean our vehicle fabs. And then we get more bot factories up. Uh, you can never have enough docks really. You can never have enough docks. What is he doing? Hmm. Oh, he's building a laser turret. wonder if I can catch that. It's only two fabbers. Oh, oh. Okay, so I think it's time to attack. You know, just kill that turret there, and 
Well, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted to show you how the T2 vehicle follow-up was going to work if he went walls, but apparently... I don't know what he's doing. What is that? Is that like T2 Air? That's a lot of T1 Air Fabbers. Mm -hmm -hmm. Queue up more stuff. Oh, so we know where his commander is. It's right next to the T2 Air Factory. So I'm going to do a split and then just attack both sides so his commander can't be in two places at the same time. Just wreck his base. Although, this is surprising. It's 9 minutes 40 and he's got no T2 Air. He says he's been AFK. I don't know if I want to do this video again. Um, anyway, so if this was a normal opponent, we would just control A and then A click in with the waypoint set at his base. It's very simple, very simple. And then you just eventually grind him down and then you can win. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I remembered to build energy storage, which I didn't do, but that's alright. Okay, GG. How did he get the T2 air up though if he was AFK? I don't know. That was a very weird game. That was very weird indeed. But, um... Yeah, if you do this build, it should kind of work most of the time against um, people. Um, it, if you're playing against better players, like actual good players, then you'll probably need to micro a lot more and modify um, to get the air defense in. But yeah.